whole city's been turned to ice. It's just like what happened to the gates. This doesn't seem natural at all. This may be the Crystal Kingdom, but it shouldn't be frozen solid, cold winter or no. We'd better take a look around. into a block of ice. Can you tell us what happened here? Hmm. Well, it all began three months ago. It was a bright, sunny day, just like any other, when suddenly a strange shadow filled the sky. It was a witch. <gasps> a witch? My goodness! That sounds like something from a fairy tale. Just so, she chanted an ancient incantation, and just like that, the town was engulfed in a ferocious snowstorm. The wind took my breath clean away, and before I knew it, I had fainted. And when I awoke, all was frozen. I was the only one spared. She must be a pretty powerful witch to freeze this whole city with a single spell. I wish I could help, but all this ice is more than my magic can melt. <sighs> By the way, Missy, that symbol in your shawl, is that not... Oh, forgive me. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? Frisabeth, Queen of Sniffelheim. You're the Queen? So, does that mean the old King is...? I'm afraid so. My father passed away last year. Oh, I've only been in charge these few months, and just look at my kingdom. Whatever am I going to do? It looks like Sniffelheim's in a bit of a sticky situation. I suppose now isn't a good time to ask about the orb. An orb? What kind of orb? Why, the big blue ball that's been handed down in your family for generations, lassie. And truth be told, we need to borrow it. <gasps> oh, oh, of course. You would be welcome to borrow it. But I'm afraid it is locked up tight inside the castle which is locked up tight inside the ice. Well, that's just perfect. So if we don't find a way to melt that ice, we'll never get our hands on the orb. Hmm. I thought just the same thing. Why, only a few days ago, I sent them out to try and find the witch and fight her, but I haven't seen them since. Well, we can't very well leave them out in the cold. Let's go and give those soldiers a hand and bring spring back to Sniffelheim, shall we? Oh, 
thank you, thank you. The Wicked Witch dwells in the Hexwood, a haunted forest far to the north of the Sneerfeld Steppe. Be very, very wary, for the witch does not live in the woods alone. She keeps a fierce, magical beast to guard against intruders. I will be sure to keep an eye out. Thanks for the warning, lassie. Right, come on, boys and girls. Let's head over to the Hexwood.
Another one bites the duck. Keep me from the witch beast! Yield! The Darkspawn... here? How could I be so foolish?
You have served your mistress well, but your day is done. It is your turn, Darkspawn. You will not escape me this time! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what a pleasure to finally meet you, Sir Hendrik. Is this your doing? Nothing personal, my pretty. But I promised the one who released me that I'd freeze you in your tracks. <laughs> what a lovely little trinket. It's just like his. We shall make such a captivating couple. Matching necklaces and all. What? Oh, more questions. You so-called heroes are nothing but talk. It's time to put you two on ice forever. Not if I have anything to do with it! Sir Hendrik, you'll be in charge of this party of foreign soldiers we heard about. The ones Queen Frisabel sent. <sighs> Leaving so soon? Sure you don't want to round us up and throw us in jail? Oh, I will. All in good time. Freezing cold. That spell must have really taken its toll. We passed a hut on the way here. Let's carry him there. So you are finally awake. Are you feeling better, friend? Good, good. You have your companions to thank for that. Such caring comrades are a rare gift. Uh. Ah, but forgive me. I have not introduced myself. I am Snorri, scholar of the arcane arts. I came here to investigate the origins of the Wicked Witch, who froze Sniffelheim solid. It was luck, and luck alone, that caused me to be away from the city when she first appeared, or I too would have been turned into an icy statue. Your friends tell me the Queen has asked you to eliminate the sorceress. If it will help you in your quest, I will be happy to share what I have learned. 
The witch's name is Kristalinda. Long ago, in the Age of Heroes, a mighty mage imprisoned her within the pages of an enchanted grimoire. The book was hidden away safely in the Royal Library, an ancient archive built by the founders of Sniffelheim to house the combined knowledge of all humankind. Having learned this, I tried to go and see the book for myself. Alas, the library was swarming with monsters, and I was forced to retreat. Oh, hello. Up and about, are you? Thank goodness for that. Indeed. You are well on the way to recovery thanks to your young friend here. It is plain to see that Veronica cares for you very deeply. Put a sock in it, Snorri! <laughs> there is no need to be embarrassed, my dear. Anyway, your timing is perfect. I had just finished telling your friend all I had learned about the witch. I'll get straight to the point then. We're taking Snorri here back to the library so he can look for clues on how to beat her. It is high on a plateau to the east of here, but we must make our way around to the south before we can reach it. Shall we?
Another one, fight.
We win again.
Monica wins again!
was easy.
else wants some? <laughs> Thank you. 
easy. should be very useful indeed. It is the great mage's account of how he imprisoned the witch in the grimoire. Let's see now. The magic of the sorceress was passing strong. Even with all my energies, I could neither conquer nor constrain her. And so I did conspire with a great enchanted beast that by its incorporation of a piece of the witch's magic, I might by my small strength subdue her. Thereupon was the witch imprisoned in a book and laid to rest in the Royal Library of Sniffelheim. As for the beast, it haunteth the nearby Hexwood to this day. I see. So, even the greatest mage of the Age of Heroes needed the help of a magical creature to seal the witch away. A great enchanted beast? Well, you certainly met one of those in the Hexwood. That thing that was supposed to be the witch's pet. Oh? Tell me, what did this creature look like? Hmm. Rounded white body with a golden mane. Two pointed tusks jutting from an enormous jaw. Uh, how can you have been so foolish? The monster you defeated was the very same one that kept a part of the witch's power sealed away. told us it was on the witch's side. She said it guarded her against intruders. Is this true? But why would Her Majesty say such a thing? Hold on. I'm sure I've seen that symbol somewhere before. Wasn't it on the front of the book the Queen was reading when we first met her? This? Why, this is the Sorcerer's Seal. It is a ward placed on all the forbidden books of the Great Library. Which means that book the Queen was reading was forbidden. Wait, what if it was the book the Witch was sealed away in? What if... Go back to 
Sniffleheim and talk to the Queen. I've got a feeling there's some funny business afoot.
about you. I didn't sleep a wink. <laughs> you can drop the act now, your majesty. Krista Linda all along. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking care of that pesky power plunderer for me. Now I'm bursting with energy again, just like old times. And I believe we have some unfinished business. The heroic Sir Hendrik may have escaped my icy embrace, but you won't get away so easily. I... I know the spell to seal her away again, but it won't work while she's at full strength. If you can weaken her, I'll see what I can do.
Okay, here goes. <laughs> Pella, Mella, Fell and Feller. Fabula Ferocious. No, stop it. Please, anything but that. Helter, Skelter, Bind and Belter. Anima atrocious, Liba, Claustra, Kabbalistic, Hex! Hmm, I wonder how this word is pronounced. Snorri! What kind of scholar are you? Pull yourself together! Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. Liber, Claustra, Kabbalistic, Hex Bialidosus! No! No, please! Forgive me! I'll do anything! I'll change my ways, I promise! Your Majesty, is it really you? Hmm? Oh yes, I remember now. The witch trapped me in that book and pretended to be me, didn't she? Thank goodness. For a moment there, I was worried the ordeal might have muddled your memory. Fear not, Your Majesty, the witch is sealed away once more. Your Majesty, we've been searching for you everywhere. Please, you must come back to the castle. The Chancellor is beside himself with worry. Hmm. Thank you so much for saving my kingdom. I must see to it that you are justly rewarded. You need the blue orb, don't you? I heard you talking about it from inside the book. Come and see me at the castle. I will gladly give it to you. As for the green one, Snorri, why not give it to me? Hold on a minute, Your Majesty. I don't think you understand just how dangerous that book is. You should let us take care of it. Oh, um, 
Yes, of course. Yes! Another orb to add to the collection! Come on, let's go to the castle and get our reward. Here, I'll let you keep hold of this. say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go.
in the book. Please, you have to listen to me. I am the real Frisabel. The woman in front of you is the witch. What? Ridiculous! She's the witch, not me. Don't believe her lies. Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe me. She's lying. The Wicked Witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Everybody, calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabel. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue orb. What else could it be but something so valuable? Hmm, the orb, you say? Very well, very well. Now then, what is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, Ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. Precisely! The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one in the book! No! She's a liar, you fools! You imbeciles! you see? Curse you! Oh, yes. Very queenly. <laughs> Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> oh. Oh. I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, take her to the dungeon. <clears throat> Wait! Your Majesty, what are you doing? Isabel, please, step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to lie. Uh. Everyone, listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. But we spoke 
from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Hers is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think, to ready myself to truly rule at last. Please, I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She's not a threat to us any longer. We must let her live. Hmm. She seems convinced, Snorri. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. <laughs> Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, fusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Henry, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. Thank you once again for all you have done for me and my kingdom. The orb is yours to do with as you see fit. But your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Of course. As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Frisabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her. Thank you. 
loitering by the docks, Eric. None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Huh? What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We have a tree of life to be getting to. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Ooh, is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little... <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. After you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. But ah. oh. uh. <sighs> wait! You, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. I tell ye!
else wants some? <laughs> Another one bites the dust.
Place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail. It's breathtaking. Oh, stop it, you! You're making me blush. Although I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is? Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers, the ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches, and of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. We should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not 
taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. The luminary. Can it really be? Oh, what a blessed day this is. Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea, and I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me and I will show you the way. Mm-hmm.